Hello and welcome to this video all about the LFOs in this main interface in Serum. So this video was actually taken from my full Serum course. To gain access to this course, just check out the link in the description below. So Serum here gives us four independent LFOs, but they all share this same graph area. Also, if I drag LFO4 onto something I want to modulate, for example, the filter cutoff, you can see LFO5 appears. And if I drag this onto something else, say the filter pan, LFO6 will appear. So you can actually use a lot of different LFOs in Serum, which can be really useful. Okay, if we want to remove this LFO modulation, we just right click on here and go on to remove all modulators, or we can select the individual one here, remove modulator, LFO5, and the same with the filter cutoff, remove all modulators. So it's really simple, we just click on the LFO we want to use, drag this little cross onto whatever we want to modulate with the LFO. For this example, I'm going to use LFO1 to modulate the filter cutoff. So now when I play a chord, you can see in real time what it's doing to the filter cutoff in this little graph area here. We can control the distance we want it to control with this little blue circle here. Just click and drag this. And also if we hit Option, Shift, Click, we will get some bipolar modulation. So the modulation can go forward and backwards. Okay, so let's have a look at this graph area here. We can actually double click to add new dots or new nodes. We can really sculpt out the LFO. And we can also click and drag to add a curve. Okay, so let's have a listen to this now. We get a few clicking sounds. So we get some quite unique shapes here. We also have some presets we can choose if we hit this folder button. Basic, miscellaneous, sidechain, and user if you want to save your own shape. Let's just try miscellaneous and dome. Let's try another one, miscellaneous and ramp up. We can change the grid size here if we wish. You can always go in and change the presets and then save them as your own sound with save shape. Okay, so we have a few different modes here. The first one is trig or trigger. So this means the LFO will restart on every note. Then going down, we have envelope mode. So in this mode, the LFO will complete one cycle, behaving a bit like an envelope. You can hear that it went through the LFO once and then just stopped and continued as normal. So this could be useful if you wanted to add, say, another envelope. So it's kind of like an envelope, but without a release stage. Or we can go down and hit the off button, which is the default. And that means the LFO will continue and not reset on every note. Okay, going across, we have BPM or beats per minute. So this will sync to the tempo we're working with in our DAW. And we can choose different note lengths here. So at the moment, it's one quarter notes. It goes for every bar. So it means it will take this amount of time to go through this LFO. So right now, I just put the metronome on in my DAW. So you can hear it's four beats or one bar because in this project we're working in 4-4 to go through this LFO. If I increase this to say quarter notes, so every beat is going to go through this LFO. Of course we can make this a lot faster if we wish. And if we don't want to sync this, we can unclick BPM and then this will change to Hertz. So you can get some really fast times if you want. 
So you notice here we have anchor selected. So this basically helps the LFO rate sync with the BPM clock. So when you're changing the position of BPM, sometimes it can go a little bit out of sync, and anchor can just mean it will stay more in sync. Okay, going across we have rise. So this acts like a fade-in for the modulator. Let's change this to Hertz. And you can hear it's kind of fading in. Okay, and going across we have Delay. So this will actually delay the LFO by this amount selected here. Let's just put rise all the way down, turn on the BPM and change this to one quarter notes, and then delay I'm going to have one quarter notes. So the note's going to play without the LFO for one quarter notes, and then the LFO is going to start. Let's just make this a bit slower. So for one bar, it's going to play without the LFO, and after that the LFO is going to work at one quarter notes. And then we have smooth, and this is used to smooth out the edges of the LFO. Let's just put the delay down. Let's just make a more crazy shape for a bit of fun. The other LFOs work exactly the same, and we can actually assign this LFO to control more than one thing at the same time, or we can even have multiple LFOs on the same thing. So if I add this to cutoff, you can also see a little one appears here. So this basically means how many controls the modulator is assigned to. So it means it's assigned to LFO2 and LFO1. So this filter cutoff is going to be controlled by LFO1 and LFO2 at the same time. We can also have independent rate. This LFO can be used to warp, pitch, pan, loads of different things. Let's just drag LFO2 onto coarse pitch here. And we can also drag LFO2 onto detune. So you can really use this LFO to control a lot of different things in this main window in Serum. Thank you for watching this video all about the LFOs in this main interface in Serum. So this video was actually taken from my full Serum course. To gain access to this full course, just check out the link in the description below.